Okay, so you're going to make this shopping list. Uh, we're going to utilize this to kind of build our models. Uh, we're going to utilize it to first design our models, and we're going to utilize this list to also uh, physically build our models. So these are the these are the line items. We've got one 10 inch by 10 inch square. I'll say that again. One 10 inch by 10 inch square, and that's going to be with a grid. And I'll explain that when we start drawing this with grid. Okay, we've got four one inch by one inch squares. And that's going to be listed as solid squares. So I'll repeat that again. Four one inch by one inch squares, solid. Next line item is two one half inch by one half inch squares that are hollow. Repeat that one, two half inch by half inch squares that are hollow. Next line item is two, two inch by one inch rectangles that are hollow. Repeat that, two, two inch by one inch rectangles that are hollow. And then last but not least, bless you, five 10 inch by 1 8 inch lines. We're going to call them lines. So again, five 10 inch by 8 inch lines. And hopefully you guys can read that. I, I don't, can you guys read that on screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, great. Okay, I'm sorry. 10 inch by 1 8. Sorry if I misread. Sorry if I missaid that. You're welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're basically going to be drawing these out onto our sheet of paper. And in, in a rare occurrence, we're actually going to be allowed to utilize the, the, the very edge of the piece of paper. So you can see mine has a seam down the middle. Your guys should have, you guys should have that nice wide paper so you won't have the seam. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this um, 10 inch by 10 inch square. And quite simply, I didn't really plan this out, but I know there's enough real estate on this piece of paper to make all of these things fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 10 inch square and I'm going to go ahead and utilize this lower left hand corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, bring it in on this edge, come out to 10 inches, put a little tick mark. So... I've got my zero over here. I've got my 10 inch up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line. So pencil tip on my mark, slide the tool into the pencil mark, and then give myself a vertical line. Now I will say one thing for this one. If you want to draw a little bit heavier on this one than you're used to doing in my class, because these aren't construction lines, you're actually going to physically take a pair of scissors and cut all this stuff out. Um, you can use darker lines for this one. So my first thing I did was obviously tape down my piece of paper, made sure it was square, all of that stuff. And then we just did what I just did here. So I'm going to head measure here. And Danny, I'm just going to repeat that last step for you. Okay. So I got my paper taped down. My ruler is going to go on the edge of the paper. On the left hand side, zero. I'm going to put a little mark at the 10 inch mark. Move my ruler out of the way. Put my pencil on the 10 inch dot that I just drew. Drafting tool into the parallel edge. Slide the drafting tool into my pencil tip. Hold this triangle for moving and go ahead and take my straight vertical line. And voila, we have our 10 inch width drawn out. That's okay. Sure, sure. So you got your paper up against the edge. You tape down all four corners so the paper's nice and square, correct? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take our ruler. I'm going to put my zero over on the left-hand edge of the paper. 
So I'm lining it up with the left hand edge of the paper perfectly. I'm putting a little tick mark at the 10 inch mark. So I'm just going to do a little teeny tiny mark at the 10 inch mark. And then what I can do with that is I move my ruler out of the way. I take my triangle. I find that little 10 inch mark that I put. I put my pencil on the 10 inch mark. And then I take my triangle and I put it against the parallel edge. And that ensures that it's going to be a nice vertical line, right? Because if I don't rest it perfectly, you can see this line is going to end up being crooked. So I want to make sure I slide that down, slide my triangle into the pencil tips just very lightly, and then go ahead and strike my vertical line. All right, so now I've got my 10 inch width drawn. Now I need to draw my 10 inch height. So kind of the same procedure. I'm just gonna measure, I'm gonna actually line my ruler up with that vertical line that I drew. I'm gonna put my zero down here and I'm gonna put a little mark at the 10 inch mark up here. So now I have a little teeny mark up there. And instead of needing to use a triangle this time, what I can do is I can just use my parallel edge. So all the same principles apply. Pencil tip down on the mark, slide the parallel edge into the pencil tip, hold the parallel edge from moving, and then strike your horizontal line. And I've got two pieces of paper taped together, so mine's a little bit harder to do. So this section here that we just drew is now our 10 inch by 10 inch square. So we've drawn our 10 inch by 10 inch square. And I'll just pause there for a quick moment. Oh, this can actually work out really nice. Do yourselves a favor while you're drawing this horizontal line. Go ahead and draw it a little um draw it a little extra long across here. Just draw it a little extra long. Doesn't have to go all the way across the paper. It can if you want, it doesn't matter. Just extend that line out. I'm just doing some of the layout in my head real quick with all of the items, and I think this is gonna make it really, really simple. Okay, so I'll wait here for 30 more seconds and we'll move on to the next part. In the meantime, grab a sip of coffee. Um, you just have to pick up on the parallel edge just a little bit as you go the slide over. So... Lift it very gently, like maybe maybe instead of like lifting it, just kind of um, what, what I do is I just kind of tilt it up just the slightest bit just to hop it over the edge of the paper. And yeah, so, so instead of like actually physically lifting it, guys, I wish I could have bought these for you. I tried. I had these on order and this company went out of business after like a hundred and this company's been in business for like 130 years, Alvin. And they literally went out of business when you guys became my students. Like, <laughs> hashtag 2020, right? I mean, that, that just seems to be your guys' luck this year. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to assume that you guys are, are pretty much at this point. I know some of you might not be quite there, but I, I'm going to re I'm recording this so that I'm going to post this up for you guys in case you need to go back. And basically, you'll just hear my voice and, the dra and see the drafting board. I don't know that you'll hear yourselves on camera. I hope not, but it doesn't really matter. Um, 
So for my next step, I have here that we're going to, with grid, so for sake of layout, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the grid, and we're only going to do the, the vertical grid right now because it's going to help us create our little boxes up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm simply just going to place it. I'm going to put the zero here. I'm just using the top side of my, or the bottom side of my parallel edge. It really doesn't matter where you do this, but what you're going to do is you're going to line up your, your zero with this edge or this edge. It really doesn't matter. So if you're, if you're down here, you can do it like this and put your zero and your 10 will be over here. If your parallel edge was up here, you can do it like this and put your zero on this edge. Either way works. I'm going to do it this way because I think it shows a little bit better on camera. Um, and also, I don't have to stand up and lean over my drafting board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little mark at every one inch. So one inch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you guys might be able to see this little tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little vertical tick marks. And I bet you everybody can guess what we're going to do next. We're going to draw all nine of those vertical lines. Pencil tip against the mark. Strike your vertical. Pencil tip against the mark. Strike your vertical. Oh, and I've been taking them straight through. Don't take them all the way through. Stop at your top line. That's my mistake. It's okay, actually, to do it for... Actually, you know what? Go all the way, for, go all the way through for your first four. Okay? Go all the way through for your first four. Because what we're doing is we're creating our grid for our 10 by 10. But in addition to creating our grid, I'm automatically creating my one inch squares up here. My one inch by one inch squares up here. So only go through for your first, you know, one, two, three, four lines. Okay. Only go all the way through for your first four. Cut the other one short. Bring them to this line right here. So I'm going to bring that down. Pencil tip on my mark. Straight down. Pencil tip on the mark. Strike it down. Two more. Pencil tip on the mark. Strike it. Last one. Pencil tip on the mark. Slide the tool in. And there we go. Yes, Grace, they are all one-inch gaps. I was actually able to pull the chat over close enough to be able to see it. I'm going to let you guys do that for a moment. I will be right back. I'm going to go grab my pair of scissors just so that I'm prepped for the second part of this. We're not quite ready to use them, but I'm going to go grab them so I don't have to pause.
Alrighty. Give you guys just 30 more seconds on this one. Alright, so what we should have right now is we should have our, our 10 inch square which was this, and then it's divided up by one inches. You know, every one inch we have a line. Now, what I did was, like, the thing I explained that was I extended these first four lines out, two, three, four, and what that generated was one, two, three, four, one inch by one inch blocks. So if you look over on my little list over here, one of the things that I had was four one inch by one inch squares solid, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cross those off the list because we've already got those. They're right here. One, two, three, four. Um, secondly, we have the we have the 10 inch by 10 inch square. That's the big one. Um, we don't have the grid complete, but it's but we've already got it kind of worked out. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that off the list. Now I've got two inch or sorry, two two inch by one inch rectangles. Well, the great thing here is that we've already generated our grid. And we know that this is going to be one inch, right? So the reason why we know this is one inch is this paper is 11 inches tall. We drew a 10 inch square on it. We're, we're left over with one inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to skip over one. So you'll see here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this vertical line and extend this one straight through. Skip over one. Come to the next one, go vertical, and now I have one, two, one, two. Got it? Does that make sense? So I basically just continued this one up. That was already continued up. I skipped one, I went over one, went up. Skipped one, went over one, went up. And what that generated was these are two inches by two inches. And to be honest with you guys, you guys can actually write in these, write pretty light. So I'm going to write uh, two inch by one inch, two inch by one inch, one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one, two by one, two by one. And then I could actually cross off those. Um, in fact, yeah, we can cross that off. So we've only got two things left to do. We've got to create these uh, two half inch by half inch squares. Okay. And since we have this little leftover space up in this upper left hand corner, let's go ahead and utilize this little leftover space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ruler. And I'm going to put a little mark at the half inch point. So I'm measuring from, so if you guys take a look at this, I'm going to put my one, I got to do it upside down because I can't use my head to block it. I'm just putting my ruler right on this line here. And I'm putting it on one of the whole inch marks. It doesn't matter which one because we don't really care. We just know that we're coming a half inch over. So I'm going to come a half inch over. And put a little mark. I'm going to try to do that a little bit neater than that. My pencil. I didn't do a good job there. So let me do that again. So I'm going to do a little half inch mark. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure vertically. And again, I'm just going to put it on the whole inch. And I'm going to measure up half inch. And put a little dot. So I measured up off of this. I just put it on a whole inch, measured up a half inch, put a little dash, and I had measured from here over a half inch and put a little dash. Okay, 
And what I'm going to do with that quite simply is I'm going to utilize my, my parallel edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil, put it on the little half inch mark. And then I'm just going to draw a little horizontal line right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't end, doesn't matter where it ends over here as long as it goes past this line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on my little vertical half inch mark, I'm going to extend that up. And I'm going to go back to that other sideline and extend that up. And you'll see I created two small half inch by half inch blocks. So I'm going to write one half by one half, one half by one half. And that gave me my other line item, which was two one half inch by one half inch squares. So according to my list and according to your list, we should be left with these um, 10 inch by 1 8 inch wide lines. Does everybody agree to that? Feel like that's the only thing we have left? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to measure off of this line 1 8, 1 8, 1 8, 1 8, 1 8. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, put it back up here, and I'm lining it up with the last vertical line that we drew on the right. And I'm going to put a little tick mark at 1 8, 1 quarter, 3 8, 1 half, 5 8. And that should give us five little tick marks, okay? So if you're... I'm going to try to come in on the ruler a little bit. So basically you start at zero and you skip every other little dash, right? So one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, one half, five eighths. Again, you're skipping the little dashes. You're going to every second dash, okay? One eighth, one quarter, three eighths, one half, five eighths. I'll put little marks on here. Hopefully that reads okay. That's where you're going. All right. And I just basically put little one, two, three, four, five little dashes down here. And then what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to use my, my drafting tool. And I always say this, put pencil in the mark, tool into the, into the pencil. Strike your vertical. Slide over, next dot, pencil on the mark. Slide your tool in, strike your line. Like the back of the shampoo bottle says, rinse, wash, and repeat. Do this five times, you'll have your vertical lines. Okay, so we basically created one, two, three, four, five. Those are one eighth of an inch thick. That gave us back to our list. We knew that from here to here was 10 inches. That gave us our 10 inch. So that generated our lines. And again, guys, I am recording this and I'll get this uh, posted up and uh, let you guys review it and step back through this if you need to. Uh, there's only one last step to do, and that's going to be putting our, our horizontal grid on our 10 by 10, and then we're done with the drafting board, and we're actually going to start cutting this thing up. Um, in the meantime, before I start the grid, the hollow ones, which are going to be these two little ones, what I want you to do is just take a light shade and just shade in the hollow ones. So the, the half inch by half inch are hollow. Shade them in light. Don't go too dark. And then the two inch by one inchers are also hollow. So shade in. And guys, this does not have to be pretty. We're basically creating a rough draft for our designs. So shading this in.
So we got that shaded, that shaded, that shaded, that shaded. Those are all of our hollow items. And I'm going to pause there for just a quick moment, let you guys catch up to that point. You guys should be pretty close, I hope. I dropped my pencil sharpener and it took off. Has anybody ever helped their parents bust out tile flooring? I got to do that this weekend with my brother-in-law, helping him. We busted out 650 square feet of solid tile with sledgehammers, and my hands are thrashed today. All right. So, I'm going to assume that we're almost there. Last thing we did was put these little eighth-inch lines that generated our five 10-inch by one-eighth-inch vertical lines. Okay? Okay. Last but not least, we're going to do a, a vertical, we're going to do a, a horizontal grid lines across our 10 by 10. Okay, so after we mark this, we're going to strike these lines, but I want you guys to be cautious. Do not come into these little lines over here, okay? We're going to strike from this first edge left. We're not going to come into these lines, okay? So again, I'm just going to take my ruler, line it up with the bottom of my paper, I'm actually going to line it up perfectly vertical with one of my vertical lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in at every half inch. So I go half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, Seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and that's it. So every half inch, half one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, etc., etc. Now I have these uh, little tick marks going straight up one of my vertical lines, and just like with everything else, tool against your mark, tool into your pencil, and then you can see I'm stopping. I'm going to start right here. I don't want to come into my lines. I'm going to start at the edge of my 10 by 10 grid, strike a horizontal, go all the way across. Pencil on my mark. Start at my vertical. And I'm going to do this. 19 times total. Strike. Pencil in the mark. Tool in. Strike.
Oh, beautiful, right? Last thing I can do, we have, I'm just going to double check everything. We have one 10 inch by 10 inch square with our grid, which is what we just finished, right? We got the half inch going this way. We got the one inch going this way. We've got four one inch by one inch squares. One, two, three, four. We've got two one half inch by one half inch squares. Boom, boom. They're hollow, so we shaded them. We've got two two inch by one inch rectangles right here. They're two inches wide by one inches tall. They're also hollow, so they are also shaded. We've got two of those. And then last but not least, we have five 10 inch by one eighth inch vertical well, lines. We happen to have done them in the vertical. So they're all over here. Um, our next step is quite simply, we are going to unmount. And I imagine some of you guys probably aren't quite here yet, but some of you guys might be. If you're not, you can leave this tape down to your drafting board. Um, for now, uh, what you'll end up doing is basically doing what I'm doing. You're going to peel this. And then what I'm going to do here in just a moment is show you the next steps, which is pretty simple. Um, and remember, guys, I have two sheets of paper, so mine's a little bit more of a pain. I'm going to tape this back together on the back. Try that again. Okay, so my next step is going to be, I'm actually going to move my drafting board off of the table. And I'm going to go ahead and use my pair of scissors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along this. I'm going to cut my grid out. I'm going to leave it at 10 by 10. Normally I would use an X-Acto knife and a straight edge, but... Since you guys aren't supposed to be using them at home, I won't use one here. And guys, my hands are so crushed today, I can't even pull scissors together. That's how bad my hands hurt. So, so I'm going to cut that straight through. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut straight across the top line we're going to leave that 10 by 10 grid completely intact do not cut that 10 by 10 grid into 200 pieces please do not do that leave that thing completely intact what i'm doing is i'm just cutting across the top to cut off those uh squares and rectangles that we generated man i didn't realize my hands hurt that bad i can barely squeeze the pair of scissors all right so we're gonna um then cut apart these one inch squares one two three four and i'm gonna put those four in a little pile because i don't want to lose them so there's my four inch squares I'm going to cut out my little half inch rectangles next, or my little half inch squares. So I'm going to zip across there. There's one. There's two. Again, I'm going to stack these two because I don't want to lose them. So I've got my half inch by half inch squares. I've got my two inch by one inch rectangles. Okay. These little scraps, be sure to crumble them so they do not get mixed in with your items. They're not important. You've got your 10 by 10 square. And then last but not least, we're going to cut out these uh, five vertical lines. Now, these are going to be a little tricky to cut out. So just caution yourself as you're cutting them out. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to do my best here, guys. So you're going to do your best. I'm going to do my best. These do not have to be perfect again. This is really generating your rough draft for your designs. So I've got one vertical line. Very thin. Don't lose it. Don't rip it. Looks like we're running up against the time today, so I'm going to try to hurry up and finish these last couple of little cuts. Chew. Okay, the rest of this little stuff is trash. You should have square with grid, five separate little vertical slithers, okay, two two inch by one inch rectangles, four one inch by one inch squares, and last but not least, our little guys are little half inch by half inch squares. Okay, so this right here is going to be essential for you guys to have. Um, in fact, this is going to be essential for you guys to have for tomorrow's class. So by, by tomorrow morning at class time, please make sure you have these ready to roll. Um, the only thing that I did not do is I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking, like, you, you could just take a color pencil or a marker, a very light marker, or highlighter even, it would even be better. Actually, if you have a highlighter, use a highlighter and highlight these lines because what happens is, as you start to place these on this grid, they start to get lost. So if you highlight them yellow um, or green or blue or whatever colors you want, you can uh, you can see those. But highlight the ones that we didn't shade. So highlight the lines and highlight the four squares. And you guys will be all set for tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording. Hold on a second here.